what is going on guys it's goblins here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make thumbnails on phone now today i'm using an android but i'm pretty sure you can also use this on iphone now all you have to do is download the app pixel lab pixel lab will help you mostly with everything in this video now without further ado let's get into it so what you're going to want to do is like I normally do for my GTA videos you can create a social club social club allows you to post pictures share uh, music and tons of other stuff so I just go into my social club right here and I post uh, pictures from my snapmatic now all I have to do is get a get an image now you don't always have to get stuff from social club you can get it from like Google and tons of other stuff all you have to do is uh, hold your thumb onto the image and it will it'll give you all these choices you click download image now after you download the image you go back over to pixel app now it's going to save it to your gallery, which is your camera roll. Now, after that, you go to not the plus sign, but you go to these three dots. Then it, you can make thumbnails. Now, all you have to do is go to image size. You select one of the presets. And it allows you to make a YouTube channel banner, a YouTube thumbnail, a Google Plus cover photo, a Twitter header size and all of that but today we are using YouTube thumbnail now you press OK and then after that you get uh, you go to the plus sign right here and you click from gallery now as you can see I already made some but you can grab any image we'll grab uh, this one the 10 cent one So all you have to do is press this little bottom one and make sure it, your image fits uh, the, the kind of like outlines perfectly. You can adjust it if you want, but something not to do. Don't press these like side lines at all or the bottom line because if you do, it'll make it wide and this does not look good. So let's delete that and from gallery and let's get that image back so again you go like this and make sure that it fits see it didn't fit well so we're gonna go like this perfect now that you have your image in place you're gonna go to Google and search what you want to add to your picture so as you guys have seen from other youtubers they have like for grand theft auto they have the little gta 5 symbol in the corner now to get that you search up gta 5 ping now you can drop you can get the logo you can get everything i use this ping right here now you know it's a ping if it first shows up white and then it turns into this like uh, checkerboard. If it's not ping, it will be white like that and it won't show the checkerboard. That's how you know you're going to download something that you can't use for your stuff. Now now that you have your, your ping, you just do the same thing you did to get your image. You put your thumb or your finger, whatever finger you want to use, and you uh, hold it, and then you press download image. Now, after you download your ping, you can go back to Pixel Lab. You go back to the plus sign, and you go to your gallery. Now, you it'll show this, and then if if you have a ping that's this big, all you have to do is make it small by doing this. Now you can get it into your your size that you want it. 
and just put it wherever you think it would look good in your thumbnail. Now, you can also put like arrows or like emojis or whatever uh, YouTubers, most YouTubers do. Normally, I get inspiration from other YouTubers, other big YouTubers, small YouTubers, or just YouTubers that I like. So, I got this pin. You put it in right there. Now, if if you want to, like, remove some, something, don't go out of the white line. It's just, just press the, the uh, garbage can, and it will delete it. Now, let's put that right there. Now that you have your little ping, if, uh, you can add text. So you go back to the plus symbol, you add text. Now it's going to say new text. Now you're going to be like, hey, how am I going to be changing it? It says new text and I don't want that. Well, you have to go down to this A right there and you go to edit. Now, as you can see, it says new edit you can replace it with something else so I'll say Franklin visits viz its 10 cent sin cinema dang it I can't spell okay visits 10 cent we'll just do that I can't spell te uh, cinema for some reason. Okay, now that you got that, okay, as you can see, I'm pulling down my image. Don't do that. Sometimes you can get a little clumsy and pull it all the way off or accidentally press the delete button, but just repeat this video and you'll get what you want. So as you can see, it's like the normal font that won't really look good. Well, you're gonna wanna slide down and before you change its font, you can make it b your uh, text bigger. Now, normally I like to have my text able to be seen to the viewer. So we can just put it right there. And then we're going to slide all the way down to this AB, also known as font, under it. And then after that, you can pick any one of these. You got the meme font mostly I use the either blackout 2 a.m. or if I'm doing like a zombie movie that I made I would put it like more of like these or if it's a dramatic movie but we could also use this which I think looks good and we can just put it right here right here but I wanted it right here now, if you want to change its color, all you have to do is go down to this little bucket spilling out uh, color. You click that, and let's say I want it. Hmm. I want it green. I'm pretty sure you can make your own colors too, like this. Let's actually use it. We'll use a teal. There we go. Now, something I do do uh, advise you to do is to actually make it um, be uh, make it blend in with your thumbnail but not make it look like some like child's poster so like maybe not like a black because this as you can see it kind of blends in but it will be hard to see like a white is good because People can see it, but it also blends in with the thumbnail. Now, after that, all you have to do is, um, I'm, th I'm pretty sure that's it. All you have to do is go down to this, like, kind of camera, or go up to this camera-looking thing. It looks like a floppy disk. You click it, and you, you can save it as project, but I would advise you not to because you want to save it as an image so you can put it in different things and if you save it as a project then you can't make it into your thumbnail now you save as image and then all you have to really do is go down to save gallery and then it saves it and normally the only thing that I would 
say about uh, something that is annoying about this app is it does give you ads, but it, it, it'll allow you to exit out. Now, after you do that, you can go to your, your camera roll and there it is. There is your thumbnail. Now, as you can see, I made some other thumbnails, for examples. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then all you would have to do is go down to your YouTube. Or if you can't really use it for that, I would say go down to your YouTube studio. Download YouTube studio if you don't have it. You go in there. And then you gotta wait for it till it loads. And then you can go to one of your, well, I guess you could go to one of your, your videos, yeah. And then all you would have to do is it gives you these choices, but you want one that you made. And there you go. And then all you have to do is save. And then sometimes it will take a, uh, a while to load. Um, yeah, it will take a little while to load on your normal YouTube. But after a while, it will load and you'll get um, that. And yeah, all you have to do is rinse and repeat for your videos. So I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.